What's going on YouTube? It is Mr. Game of Squatch here today with a part two of my unboxing from yesterday's video with, I know it's going to be hard to see because there's no lighting here, but with the Mario styled GameCube style Fighter Pad Pro by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch that I had unboxed yesterday for 93 cents. Yes, less than a dollar is what I paid for this thing. And if you want to, check out that video from yesterday if you haven't already to find out how I was able to do that. And also to see how generous GameStop was to already have already opened up the box for me. Even though the sticker says new. But that's besides the point. This is my review section of the GameCube style controller. And for the most part, it's not bad. I gotta say, I like it. The only downside to this, though, is that there's no motion sense in it. You know what I'm saying? There's no motion sense. So, like, with, say, Luigi's, you know, Haunted Mansion here, uh, there isn't really much to do as far as, like, you know, if you wanted to move the controller up and down to be able to change the direction of, you know, his vacuum. And so, there's the downside of that. And I tried this on multiple games. I've tried this with uh, Super Mario Odyssey, tried it with Pokemon, Animal Crossing. Those ones, they didn't really matter much, except for Odyssey, obviously. That one, that one clearly, that one took some, you know, that, that does use the motion sense. And that is a big different game when you're trying to do with the motion sense. So, but the one thing that I figured out with this and it's kind of funny. Now, I could play my PS3 with this game. At least Call of Duty. Because me and the King Games 98 were legit. We were able to play zombies. Let me turn that down a little bit. We were able to play freaking zombies with the controller. And it, it, I still am baffled that I was able to freaking do that. Honestly. And for anybody that wants to know what the controls are, it would be A is circle. B is X, X is triangle, Y is square, L is for aiming, R is for shooting, ZL is for tactical, like, you know, flash grenades or whatever, and ZR is for lethal, being regular, you know, grenades and stuff like that. And then the minus button is select, and the plus button is start. <laughs> At least for Call of Duty, that's how that plays out. I haven't really tried it on any other games because I don't really have a lot of other games that I want to play on my PS3 anyway. But I did also try playing it on my PS4 as well. The only difference with the PS4 is that I guess unless you have the dongle or adapter piece that you kind of get with the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro that my friend The King Games 98 has... It came with the bundle and all that, and that's what you have to use to be able to, you know, play the arcade stick on the PlayStation 4. And so I kind of assume it's going to be the same way with this, if for whatever reason you wanted to use a GameCube controller for... If you wanted to use a GameCube controller for a PS4, which, I mean, it's, it's like, why would you? But, you know, I mean, then again, why would you play it with a PS3? And for the same simple fact of why the hell not. But that's the one thing I have that's really going good for this thing is that besides the fact that I paid less than a dollar for it, uh, is that I'm able to play zombies with this thing. And I'm still simply amazed by that. But other than that, the gameplay with this is pretty pretty good. Not that much different than with, you know, if it was my arc uh sorry. My, uh, Joy... God, what is it? The Switch Pro Controller, that's it. I couldn't think of the name. So, it wouldn't be that much different without it. You know? But, except for the motion sense, of course. So, with that, I would definitely have to say that I'd give this at least... Damn it. I'd give this at least a good 9 out of 10, just for... The fact of it, you know, I guess, you know, not having the motion controls. But then again, it's a wired controller. I, you know, I don't really know who would really expect that, honestly. I, I mean, I don't know why I was expecting it. It's probably a better statement, but, uh, 
yeah. So, I think that'll wrap it up for the video today, as I'm getting my ass handed to me by these freaking ghosts. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys find this a little bit useful for next time you're in GameStop or Walmart or wherever you are thinking about getting, thinking about getting a wired controller. I definitely would. And so, if you haven't already, check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to hit that little bell to get some notifications after you subscribe and like the video. I'd really much appreciate it. And I hope you guys stay safe, stay happy, and game on.